this nigga is giving human trafficking. So I'm gonna give y'all a quick little room tour. I am tired as fuck right now, but this is the bathroom. Like, when I tell y'all, I hate my eyes. Some luggage by the door. This closet, I'm probably gonna hang my uniform there. This is the bed, I got two beds. I'll probably sleep in this one. I might sleep in that one. Okay, y'all, I'm about to get in a fucking shower and go to sleep. tell y'all yesterday was so fucking long like the longest work day that i have ever had since i've worked here we had a delay um in fort lauderdale from fort lauderdale to chicago so that kind of pushed everything back with our layover here in la we didn't make it to la y'all into um like 2 a.m we we're supposed to be here at 12 a.m but the good thing is my friend d um we became friends in like flight attendant training and she's orlando based i'm fort lauderdale while well, I come and find out, she had a layover here too. We at the same hotel here for this almost the same amount of hours. So right now we about to head out, get some food, explore and see what's out there. Um, we both never been to LA before, so we mad hype. We like, damn, like what a coincidence that we get a LA layover. Different crews, cause me and her did not work the flight together, but Orlando base is here and Fort Lauderdale, like, what like what are you doing but um yeah i'm really excited y'all like i love when um i can get a layover that i have a friend or somebody that's willing to hang out and go out and stuff but um yeah i'm trying to get some content today we'll see how that work i'm gonna ask d if she can take some pictures of me we'll see how that work out i don't be trying to bug people especially people that don't like create content and stuff or that's not like big on taking a lot of photos i don't want to be that annoying person like girl can you take this can you take this can you take this because me i can sit there and take 50 plus photos all day until i get the right one and i'm trying to find a tripod like a travel tripod that i could pack myself so when i do come on layovers and i don't have anybody here with me i can take my own photo so if y'all know of any like travel tripod something that's not bulky and big that can fit in my little ass suitcase let me know mm. y'all i hate my hair i need a haircut like bad like it's annoying like i feel like i got a wig on i hate when it's this long but yes this is my outfit Now I'm about to go because this girl been waiting on me. <laughs> I see is like a parking garage. 
Not you having all that food. <laughs> I was dead stuck on the elevator. I was like, when you, uh, when my crew had got off on the fourth floor, it stopped and no. like door locked. I was like, no. no. Did you I, I, I had to fight my key. I was mad as hell. <laughs> Anywhere? Do we just sit anywhere? Okay. I think it's a one minute. <laughs> it is cold. But you happy as fuck. <laughs> so we got the same thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't want to put the syrup on it into the potatoes. I'm gonna pour it. Yeah. Oh, girl. You ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. Like, tell me like after, it too. Tell me after that. What do you think about the chicken? About the chicken. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like that it's not like the big, big yeah. chickens because it'd be so hard to like break it in. My mouth. I'm so hyped. What is Sarah at? <laughs> She's so <laughs> Oh, wait, you was going to do that. But... Go ahead. I'll do a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks like so it. good. I'm about to eat. Let me put a couple of pieces of chicken to the I did pack my bathing suit just in case. I was like, I have my bathing um, suit too. We got five bars. <laughs> we got five bars. Come on. <laughs> This is so nice. Yes, the water. I have not been to the fucking beach in I don't know how long. How did I know to go here? You was like, I feel like I feel like the beach. Oh, this is beautiful. You know what? Maybe because you felt the breeze. <laughs> Maybe. You know it's always cooler by the water. No, but I've seen the scenery. Yo, this is nice. But you know what's crazy? It's a street down there that's blocking the beach. Yeah. How do we get over there? <laughs> How do we get over there? This is
It's not a major drop though. It's no drop at all. That's it's good. We about to get on this little roller coaster. We both don't like roller coasters. <laughs> It's not that bad though. It's it's no drop or nothing. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. You ready? Oh my god, it's here already. We're going on this little baby roller coaster, y'all. We acting like we scared. We going in the middle, girl. We going to do the middle. <laughs>
You guys are scared of squirrels? We like, no, nah, we good. Now we not even being friendly no more. We like, no, nah, we good. Like, we ain't scared of no squirrels. He like, how long are you gonna be here for? Are you here alone? Like, my nigga, like, are you bugging? Like, don't ask us that. We now we definitely like this nigga is giving human trafficking vibes. Let's get the fuck ASAP. So me and D, we like, now nah, we good. We walked off so quick. We started walking towards the other side of the pier and we looking back, we see him like looking down at his phone. Granted, he could have just been looking at his phone just to be looking at his phone, but because he already gave us those human trafficking vibes, we like, he probably texting somebody saying, we, I just seen these two black girls. They like a tourist, they by themselves. We thinking all types of crazy shit like the movies. We got the fuck ASAP, but that, that right there like blew me and it's so hard being a woman and trying to travel to places like this because of people like that or the vibes that you may get. And I want to tap more into solo traveling. Now that I'm a flight attendant, like I'm trying to see the world. I'm trying to go to so many different places and try so many different things. And that makes me like so anxious to travel alone. Have y'all ever traveled alone before? Are you like team solo travel? Let me know like how you go about it. What's your tips? Because I really want to do solo traveling, but that's one of my biggest fears is getting human traffic or getting into some situation where I, I get kidnapped and my family don't got no money to come get me. Like, they got no money to come get me and I'm stuck. So, if y'all got some tips, let me know. I feel like I'm about to take a nap because I'm tired and I want to like be dozing and off like a crackhead on the, um, the plane. So, I'm going to Baltimore tonight and Dee is going to Cleveland, Ohio and she's working at Red Eye too, but her Red Eye is a little, it's like an hour after mine, it's like an hour later. I leave here at 8.45 p.m. That's my shuttle time and then my report time is 9.10 and I think we take off at 10.10 10. and we don't get to Baltimore until 6 o'clock in the morning and then we only have like 13 hour layover. That's pretty short for a layover. Well, to me, 13 hours ain't really worth shit. So I'll probably just be chilling in the hotel. Probably won't leave or anything like that. Um, and catch up on my rest. Because I noticed that, like, they've been giving me a lot of red eyes. And red eyes is so freaking tiring on your body. Like, so tiring. Like, I'll be crying in the inside. Like, please, Lord, just let this shit land. Just let this shit land because I'm going to go to sleep. And your girl don't even like taking naps. And right now I'm tight because it's only like five o'clock. And who wants to go to sleep right now? Not me. So I'll see y'all later.
glad to get on here real quick and show y'all my hair again. Do y'all see? Do y'all see? Do y'all see? Um, I am so hyped because at first I didn't think it was going to work out because when I got back to Florida, the flight got delayed to Atlanta. So I had to leave at 6 a.m. and end up getting here at 8 a.m. I texted her last minute to see if she had anything, like any openings, and she was like, get here at 10.30. I landed at 8, went home, dropped my stuff off, and then went up there at 10.30. And she was able to get your girl in and out. So I am so happy my hair is done because I, I'm actually going to be leaving back out tomorrow. I picked up a three-day, and I feel really good about it. Like, I feel like when you get your hair done, it just changes the mood. It changes the vibe. It just makes me feel like I'm the shit. You feel me? But, yeah, I'm ready to shoot some content, too. I'm gonna try to get some shit done on my layovers. But yes. That's why I spend my life with you. I wanna please you.